science in a nutshell. No, I'm not doing silly voices anymore. Let's get on with it. Potential difference and work done. Serious stuff. So, potential difference, remember, is the posh word for voltage. And really what it means is, as charge moves around the circuit, remember current is the rate of flow of charge from one of my previous lovely videos, then energy is transferred. Okay, work must be done to make that charge move between two points. So potential difference is the amount of energy transferred per unit charge. In other words, V equals work done divided by charge. That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, it's the amount of joules per coulomb. The exam boards give you the equation in this form, however. E, standing for work done, remember work done is energy transferred, plain English, um, equals Q times V. Okay, that's how they give it you. But I prefer to remember it as V equals E, work done over charge. So, one volt is one joule per coulomb. If you have 230 volts for the mains, that would be 230 joules transferred by every coulomb of charge as it passes between two points. That's what it means. Now the magic triangle, what's that going to look like? Well, if E equals Q times V, the things we times together always go on the bottom of the magic triangle. There it is. Get that in your brain. They love to ask questions about this, but people always forget to learn this equation. Get it in your brain. You'll pick up those extra marks and beat the competition. Here's an example. Have a try. It's up to you. No, no. I'm, I'm not bothered. It's your future. Press pause. There, those of you who press pause, well done. Those who couldn't be bothered, here's the answer anyway. It saves a lot of time, doesn't it? Okay, dead simple stuff. Really easy equation. Learn it. Here's another Next. question. Again, pretty straightforward stuff. Press pause. Yeah, well, those of you who press pause, you're going to get top grades. Well done. And <laughs> just winging it as usual aren't you pretending to revise anyway here's the answer there we go nice and easy right let's try some more practice questions okay these are dead easy foundation level look to look out for the clues in the question so work done remember is the e work done is measured in joules don't forget that keep stressing it work done is energy transferred potential difference is the posh name for voltage oh there's one of the answers um, here's some more. Yep, dead straightforward. Uh, watch out, three significant figures in that last question at the end. That'll be worth an extra mark if you remember to do it. So, here's some harder questions. Next. There we go. Have a try. I'm off for a lie down. Be back in a minute. Press pause. Okay, done. I've got to go shopping, so I've got to go and do some stuff. So, uh, here's the answers. There you go. So remember, potential difference, posh word for voltage. E is the work done. Um, work done, remember, energy transferred. And watch that last little question there. Oh, look, aren't I cheeky? I've thrown in a different equation. They will link these equations together. I equals Q over T, or Q equals I times T, and E equals Q times V. They go naturally together, so it's likely to be a part A and a part B of a question. My work is done. See what I did there? My work is done. Goodbye. Oh, there's some other questions, if you want, if you're interested, linking lots of electricity stuff together. Press pause. Gosh, come on, gotta go. Right, here's the answers. Oh, there we go. Oh, lots of nasty tricks in that one, isn't there? Look, a bit of Kirchhoff's first law, corrupt member. If those bulbs are identical, we'll split equally. Anyway, I'm, I'm really going now, to be honest. I've, I've had enough. Bye. Big finish! Science in a nutshell!